All right, June 18th garden update and what we've done. So here we go. I like to start on this side, I don't know why. So here's our tomatoes. Now remember these tomatoes, I, I um, watered with some of the earlier compost uh, liquid. It wasn't any vermicompost, but these guys look really healthy. They're really green, their leaves look pretty good, um, and they're growing. These other ones down here are also growing but I don't know, it's really hard to tell. They're all sort of about the same. Um, these three are looking a little weak because I just popped them out of like, I planted too close. There's one like here, I think in there, and I don't know, there was two more in here, it's crazy. So I had sprayed vermicompost liquid or some early liquid on my tomatoes here and it totally did this to them. I, I just popped this one over here to see if he'd come back, but I, it was too much for him. Um, so anyways, they look like they're gonna make it. They're kind of coming back and doing good. I water them way in. Um, over here, our beets are really coming in well. I'm gonna start pulling a one or two out and see how they are and uh, go from there. Melons are looking okay. This melon I sprayed and then I accidentally stepped on it the other day. Poor thing. Um, but these melons are doing all right. Cucumbers growing fine, melons. Our little radishes are coming back up, our second iteration, because we love those fingerling radishes. Um, I had uh, snap peas and a couple green arrow peas made it in here. Oh, look at that big old snap pea. That's gonna be delicious. Have to bring that one to Glendy. Um, so they're growing. I cannot wait to see in a few, I don't know, a month or so, as the cucumber grow up this thing, this is gonna be a living green wall. It's gonna be so cool. And then um, the rabbits have been hitting up my lettuce bed, but I'm not so, so concerned with it. The Lord has provided absolutely just abundance on what we have in here so far. So I'm not too upset about it. I do have to redo uh, pepper, garlic, and uh, I don't know, lemon or something concoction. Uh, these cucumber are looking really good. They're super green and healthy. So they're going well and starting to climb up even. Uh, the carrots are looking good. Now, I had thinned one side of these carrots and we said we'd see how they look. They're coming in okay. Uh, maybe something's been grabbing one or two. I'm not sure. They look a little thin on the one spot, but we're going to find out which one's better. The lettuce is just growing. Growing awesome. Um, and yeah, I've got to go harvest a lot of this stuff and start, I've been trying to give salad away because that or the chickens eat it. My beautiful marigolds are sprouting. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, these are, okay, these ones are store-bought and then I, I planted from seed some for my, the first time ever and I've got one here as well and I'm waiting for them to do something. Um, well, I guess we'll see. This was supposed to be a broccoli bed. Uh, yeah, again, another volunteer squash or something. Um, I do have a couple broccolis that are coming up. These were, the hope is for fall. Um, I've lost a couple. I've seen a couple not grow at all. These are actually finally doing something. Like that little guy there. Let's see if I can zoom in here. So tiny, he might not make it. You know, I have to plug him out and put something else in. Um, again, more of these volunteer squash or something. These broccoli are actually starting to pick up here. They're standing. This one's down to one leaf, so I don't know. Um, some of these are looking a little weak and I've lost a couple in here. So this, this half here, which is mostly like dying broccoli, I'm probably gonna plant peppers because I have a lot of peppers to plant. Um, and I can't get over this. These eggplants are just, from this side, they're small. And then you look up and they just get bigger and bigger and bigger. Now these four, let's see the color. I mean, they look good. They got, there's like a ton of bug damage. Like, I don't know what's going on. Some is eating them, yet they still seem healthy. So, and then these four down here, starting here, I watered with, with that compost juice. And they're huge. I mean, they're really like growing compared to these guys that aren't even off the floor yet. So I'm thinking that that compost liquid did good and I'm gonna try to water these ones and see if they pick up. Uh, 
I guess we'll see. And then our other bed here is, you know, my, what ended up becoming a mystery bed, really. But everything's coming in. Again, my planting spacing is way off, and that's just, I gotta learn. Each year I do it wrong, and then I'll get it right one year, you know? So spinach is coming up really nice. I love it. It's so yummy. Uh, the broccoli in there, which I thought was kale. And then those, whatever these are, I'm gonna find out soon. They're starting to go to flower. I don't know if they're yellow neck squash or or uh, zucchini maybe. I think zucchini has prickier leaves, but I don't know. I'm new, so we'll see. Like that one barely even grew. Anyways, everything's coming in well. The broccolini, I'll let go to flower because it brings butterflies and stuff. And I want pollinators, so I guess we'll see. But you can still eat the, the flower. Matter of fact, I think the flower is better than the than just the broccoli. Really good. And then we've been harvesting some of our kale, but you can hardly tell. Our celery is really starting to get tall. Um, I thought celery was a little bushy, but I have no idea. I've never grown celery before, so we will find out. So today, June 18th, and here's where our garden is. Um, in the greenhouse, we've got a bunch of stuff started. I started some artichoke, um, a bunch of different types of squash, and for summer stuff, some watermelon, um, some gondule uh, beans. We've got, see these peppers are gonna have to go out soon. I'm just trying to make sure that these are, they grow a little bit healthier and stronger. This is my one and only sun gold that the Lord blessed me with, so I'm making sure I baby that one. A couple more peppers and some Brussels sprouts up here that again, they got really dry. I don't know, they might be too stunted. I still have extra tomatoes that I'm just holding on to just in case and I can also experiment with these guys. This one's really healthy. I might even just keep him in a pot, put him in a big old pot for the for the season. I don't know what kind it is. I don't remember. Um, and then up here, just the other day, yesterday or the day before, we planted watermelon. Uh, I did find my sun gold seeds, so I'm hoping that they come up. And if they do, God willing, then we'll have even more because I love those sun golds and gondules in here. And then over here, I don't know if anything's sprouting yet. Nothing, I just planted them. See, those tags are wrong, it's weird. Um, but I just planted them like a week ago, so I haven't seen anything up yet. And uh, chickens are doing well. But yeah, June 18th garden update. Again, I love this fig tree, he's growing well. You can see how much bigger that top leaf has gotten already. So, doing well, he's got another one on the bottom. I gotta find where to plant him. I was thinking here and put a pallet in the chicken coop behind it so that way the chickens stay away from it. Um, Cause they need a lot of sun, but not a lot of wind. And that's a pretty good spot right there. Oh. But we'll see. Anyways, it's a beautiful morning out here. Uh, I gotta go check my compost temperature from yesterday. See if it, it, uh, increased and then um, I'll probably add that just to the end of this one for a full update so that I can come back and look in a year. Alrighty, see ya. Okay, I keep forgetting to do a quick update on my potato patch. So this is an apple tree here that I've been trying to keep deer away from. Um, growing decent apples. I'm excited because we have four apple trees total so I know that we're gonna have some apples eventually and I've pruned them all and hopefully that they all make it. There's another one. So I had put these wood chips down earlier as well and so there's a lot of moisture in there. All I did was dig up the wood chips to the bare, bare soil, kind of loosen it with my fingernails a little bit and then pop the potato right on top of it and covered it in um, with the wood chips. And these are the potato plants growing out of this. So. They look really, really healthy. I'm really excited. I hope we get some awesome potatoes. These are an Adirondack purple, and over there are supposed to be Adirondack red. And I think, I look at these, the leaves have some purple on them. They might be hard to tell on the camera, but in real life, they look really good in kind of purple limb. And over here, if I'm not mistaken, maybe from that one, but this one, it's a little red. Now that looks purple too. Well, I don't know. We're gonna find out. Oh, look, another one. See, I did these stakes kind of standing up so I can remember where they were not to walk on them. And there's another one coming up. So we got another new potato. So one, 
two, but that thing's got like three branches on it. I don't know if that's how they grow or not. I've never done potatoes. Uh, three, four, the about the branches, five, six, seven, and eight. So I'll have eight potato batches. Uh, I've seen, you know, people do a lot, a lot of potatoes. I don't know how good or bad that is or how many that's gonna give me. But uh, what I do know is that I'll be able to plug in more this fall and every year from now on have our own homegrown potatoes. And I'm gonna try a potato patch somewhere, maybe on one of these beds. Um, I watched a gentleman, I'm sorry I don't know his channel, uh, I, I had to look it up, but um, he did like a leaf mulch. So he just mowed up a bunch of leaves a couple of times. He put his potatoes right on his compost, he had compost on the ground, composted it, and then put potatoes, and then just buried it with like eight inches of leaves or something like that, which I'm gonna have a lot of leaves, so I'm gonna try doing something like that. And uh, he had like the best potato harvest I think I've ever seen anyone have, and it was the easiest. He was just simply raking through his leaves. Um, so yeah, but anyways, that's where my potato patch is, and I'm glad that they've been coming up so well, and I figured I'd share that. So that next year I can remember, hey, how well did my potatoes come up? Well, so far, that well. <laughs> Bye.